Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to the Revolution Let's Play. Yay! Hello. We got the whole- Ooh, I'm not wearing any underwear! Okay, wow. Oh, jeez. Over <laughs> too much information, Kaka. <laughs> anyway, we've got the whole gang here. Sligo's here, Shiva's here, Haggle and Nathan. Everyone's here. Yep. And it's gonna be great. Okay, see ya. Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll go for So, it. Nathan has his werebears, and, uh... And, and apparently we have a table with an R2-D2 and a beer keg and some gold and yep. a stuffed paper. We have and the uh, Nathan's statue is holding a Heigl doll. Why are there werebears in here, too? Yeah, you got some. I, I gave you some werebears, Nathan. Are they everywhere? Werebear everywhere. <laughs> that's fine. I don't, that's, that's actually crazy. Okay, so what are we doing? Um, I, uh, somebody, can somebody help me far harvest this farm? I'm not going to have enough inventory slots. Go back and forth. That's what I did. Yeah, I'm in a bit of a rush. So I was playing on the server on Tuesday, and I did some stuff. Today that I wanted to get done. I did some stuff because we wanted some stuff done. Okay. Oh, who put a who put a, a quietness block in here? Me. It was, getting, it was getting extremely loud and a and trophy was, bear. I have a okay. side headache. I'm not well, even going to ask any questions about this. That's bear. what I think about that. Oh, hey, look, the statues are in color now, and we're holding handle dolls. <laughs> my other statue isn't the Baconator anymore. It's a regular, it's my regular texture. It used to be the bacon. <laughs> the cobalt, well, I, let's didn't, sleep I didn't realize I like it, it wasn't Oh, enough. dang it. Ah. Sleeping is going to be difficult with this many people on. Who, who, who's died 157 times? Richmond. Richmond. What the heck happened? I'm Why is there, like, an exploded tree out here? Uh, it looks like there's a giant fire on the server at some point, because both of the big giant trees, Jeez. plus all the... Unless somebody smacked, unless somebody smacked it with a lumber axe. No, it looks I like think fire. Somebody was, was playing with a flamethrower. So what's going on here, Sheaves? You got a big like you got like, walls thrower. around here now. Yeah, it's the star of my. It's basically it's the star of my ha my workshop area. Okay, it's pretty big. All right, we'll see how. It, oh, this is this is just the first level. We'll see how it ends up going out. Anyway, uh. Okay, so I was gonna chop that tree down with a lumber axe on camera, but apparently I can't now because it's been burnt down. <laughs> so, yeah. this episode, first I'm gonna show it's you what I did off the screen. So, I went and I did some Botania stuffs. So, let's climb okay. up here. So, Ligo has been kidding our, us out with like a, an awesome, like, IT system of some kind. <laughs> so I, this is my botania room now. I've got uh, a runic altar. I got a mana pool, and up here on top of the tower, I have some endo flames. And ah, there's a s stupid cyan flower up here. I have some endo flames, which I discovered can actually burn uh, rotary craft ethanol and create mana. So oh, that's nice. we can make mana from meth. <laughs> <laughs> I also planted some nether warts. So you could, nether wart. So you could get some more nether warts. Though every time you go to harvest them, it's gonna open the front doors. Okay. Because they're underneath the doors. Don't worry, I'm still gonna have like a system. Uh, have robots taking care of our farming. Robots. We get robots. Soon, if I had better power supply for for my lasers out then, or as I like to call them her. now, robotties. But we've got an entire reservoir filled with lubricant now, sixty-four thousand millibuckets of lubricant. Um, and I was watching a YouTube video, and they were talking about the Amazon Christmas in July sale. It's going on right now. All right, so it's a big sale. You can get a bunch of stuff on sale. Including a 55 gallon drum of water based lubricant for $1,300. Yes. <laughs> wow. We now have a 64 millibucket or 64 bucket drum of, of lubricant. That's, uh, <laughs> that seems like considerably more. You can actually jump inside the reservoir and swim in the lubricant. That, if that is your. And then take uh, it on the slip and If slide. that is your desire. Why would anybody want to do that? I don't know, but weird. you can. Okay, so what we need to do, what I need to do today, what I want to do today, is um, get a uh, pulse jet furnace. So, so Ligo, maybe uh, 
these inventory cables that are running up this tower. Maybe explain yes. a little bit to the people watching about what that's about. So what I've got out front here is this pad. And once you grant this pad access, uh, you stand on it. It scans your inventory, finds all of the uh, ore that can be processed in Shiva's mechanism ore processor. It pulls it out, it pipes it into that system, processes it, and sends it as ingots over to the output chest. Very cool. You just stand there and it takes care of all of it for you. I've got another system back at my house where it's uh, auto-crafting dough. You put wheat into a chest and dough pops out. I like that. <laughs> Nathan, do you That's want cool. that? Dough is awesome. Soon it will be auto-piping out pizzas. Pizza! Awesome. Pizza is very good. That's her goal, is to, like, chef for everybody. <laughs> the server chef. The, the head yes. chef. Of the server. Ah. That works. So, Hagel, did you see the road? Did you see the Britannia room? I did. Lucky. Did you see what, what I had in the room? Haggle yep. doll. <laughs> I always have to have a haggle doll. I'm getting self-conscious now. <laughs> oh, by the way, oh, yeah. another thing I like about this room is that when you have this door open, it looks like the statue of Nathan is holding the door open. Does Thank it? you, Nathan, for holding the door for me. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> it looks like. That's what it looks like. It really does. It's what I do. Go check it out. Really good, at, it's like. really good at holding doors. For okay, me. I can go put my blast furnace down with my gunpowder right. and stuff. And that'll give me some more story. So I'm going to be um, doing some, some new stuff with my audio for this episode. We're going to see how it comes out. So everybody needs to, uh, will need to let me know after they see, watch it what they thought about my voice. It doesn't sound any different. Well, it's going to sound different now. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sentinel H with another episode. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever sound like that. Stay tuned for the exciting conclusion of Where Bear Billionaire. Wow. <laughs> now, I, now, now, we'll, now we'll need to get one of those free books and, and narrate it. Oh, but it, will, it won't be appropriate for this channel. Audio Don't, book. Do I mean, not. Audio, spend a credit. You want to do not. Bear billionaire. You will never be the same. <laughs> no, you won't. You you might think it's funny. You don't don't. I wouldn't. But I uh, do not know the horror. One of the guys that does this um, there's a really hilarious um, author. He calls himself an author. And um, well, if he writes Stephen King. <laughs> No. Stephen King might have a reason for calling himself an author. No, he. <laughs> anyway, this this guy. I, I shit. I. Na oh, Na Nathan. Nathan. One one of the books. In his that he's written, I'm not going to say the title, but I'll just tell you, that it involves. Um, it's going to be family friendly, Nathan. N probably not. A little bit. It's, it's a say, little bit family friendly. Yeah, some not, families, not too much. Friendly. Some families, yeah, some yeah it depends on the family. <laughs> Let's just say that it involves um, a sentient jet plane that is a billionaire. <laughs> what? <laughs> and, and it's a billionaire. Of course, it's, it's a no, billionaire. A, now look, uh, you just need to know that this is erotic fiction about a sentient uh -huh. jet. All these, all these billionaire werebear jet planes. It's all, it's all erotic fiction. It doesn't make any sense. It does, yeah. What kind of insane person? What kind of drugs but was he it's, on? It's it's not from the perspective of the plane so much person? as it's the perspective of an actual person that boards the plane. What? And oh, hey, okay, what's up with that? An overnight flight, oh, and his life is changed. I didn't know that right click was the fire button for this gun. It was placed in my voice. Is and, there like? A lot of turbulence. Ha! Uh, ha! 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 Uh, Why are we talking about this? <laughs> basically, uh, the guy falls in love with the plane. What? Yeah, now, here's the thing. The plane I never thought I'd also, hear those words. The plane, <laughs> the plane also moonlights as a blackjack card counter. What? How does a plane play jack blackjack? I get the feeling no, no. that this guy... Does it play it? 
cards are played on it. I get the feeling that this guy doesn't care. Yeah, because <laughs> another one of his books, another one of the books he's written. So basically, he wrote is this, this your one... favorite author now? <laughs> no. But look, basically, <laughs> I don't know. He'd be in my top five. There's a book that he wrote, and I then he wrote an airplane guy. He wrote this book about indeed. Uh, he writes uh, all this gay erotic fiction. Okay, but he wrote about this one book and bears. about bums, and then bums? here's the weird thing: he wrote a follow-up book Ooh. in in which a sentient copy of his previous book <laughs> sues him. A sentient copy of his previous book sues him, and now he has to. But he's also falling in love with it. What? This guy sounds like from a the, crazy from person. The, from the perspective of the author, and it's about how he has to either he has to choose between um, his um, uh, losing the court case or losing the love of his of his. Book. This sounds insane. Sentient, sentient copy of his book. This literally this sounds like insanity. Yeah, this guy's weird. Yeah. Oh, it's good to see you don't lose the casings after you fire this guy. What he gun are you using? The revolver. Oh, man. Revol this is a revolver from a Pioneer G6. I mean, what am I saying? Uh, Force of engineering. Yes. Um, it's got a scope on it, but you can't use the scope. At least I haven't figured out how. Right now, I'm actually... Uh, let me um, see. I bet I can find out. I bet it's something like Z. Z? Z is zoom on how the... How dare uh, it be Z? Tinker's network goggles. How dare anything be down to Z. <laughs> oh, and I, I now re I now know where I got the words sleepy sleep from. I know why I say it so much. Jim Sterling says it, and I watch him a lot. He was playing a game called um, Rake, which is about the rake, that creepypasta, and, uh, yeah. and he said sleepy sleep. Okay. I was like, that's where I got it. Oh, Haggle. Yes, sir. How... How nerfed are the big reactors in this one? How much is that power reduced? Uh, I think it's like uh, one ten. Jeez. One, one you tenth. still want to build a big reactor, Nathan? No. The, would... By far, the best RF generation in the pack is just to build a big rotary craft generator and hook it, hook it up to the rotational dynamo. Okay. But we, what about the turbine generator? That's even better. Okay, so... If I remove the fractionation unit... Uh, and I replace it with the... Extractor. Okay, so the extractor is now set up. The question is whether this performance engine plus 8 to 1 gearbox is enough to run it. Run what? Extractor. Oh. Or if I need a 16 to 1 gearbox. Well, we'll start it up and we can ferry it out along the way. We'll set it to torque mode. But we need some iron ore to run through it to try and get tons of them. Mm -hmm. True, but right. first we figure out the torque and power and everything. And then we chuck almost a full stack of ethanol in there. And we need some more... Um, some more additive for this thing. Hey, so we go. Yes. I just say hey while I walk past. Oh, hi. <laughs> I, I'm in a completely different window right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I see what I'm, you're. Uh, I see what you're going for here. Choose. Uh, mm-hmm. Where you at? Over here. <laughs> you have all of it. All of it. <laughs> yeah, I have no use for it right now. Oh. Nice. I can always make Thanks. more. Hey, have a what, what are you building? Uh, uh, I decided the front looked kind of ugly. Oh, so, so you're turning gi giant garden in. Oh, and so you're turning this water that used to be a problem into a uh, nice little pond pool thing. Yep. This is kind of this block right here is kind of bugging me. Wow. It is me too. I'm uh, <laughs> getting ready to keep it. It looks like bridge man's getting attacked by void monsters. They're actually they're not real. The void monsters aren't real. They're they're trolls. They're a visual glitch. I was so okay, not, freaked but... out. Nathan, when you see one of those, you are going <laughs> to freak out. You're going to freak hear out. Trademark little girl you're going to freak out way more than you freaked out when you saw that mimic. If you turn a corner um, Nathan, and you see one of those in front of you, you're going to go oh, insane. Boy, 
But they're not and really there, right? They're they look they, real, but they're not. And they follow you. They will they will slowly move after you. I had one follow me into the castle like a little lost pet. Oh, they're okay. creepy as all heck. I hate. I don't like it. They need to. They need to stay. <laughs> mostly. <laughs> they mostly won't murder you. And full set furnace. All right. Let me in! Okay. So the pulse jet furnace will require 131. 131 killer ratings. Oh! That means I can run it off this performance engine. Hmm. Nice. So I could run it off this performance engine, which is great. Um, so I don't need. To, okay, great. So I don't need to use the. Um, I don't need to use the um, micro turbine for that. What problem did I have a few days ago? Void monster. The oh yeah, yeah. Void, void monster, monster thing. Yeah. One three run killer roots. Oh wait a second. No, that's minimum speed. Okay, so I I I need to use um. I need to use uh the blah 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 blah. I need to use uh. Gearboxes. What was that? Oh, the bottom well, of the well, well, What are you gonna need to use? Gearboxes. Um, but wait, to go from 1,024 radians per second to 131,000 would be way too big of a ratio. Never mind, we're using the micro turbine. <laughs> I found out if I use the big reactor I was planning, I can generate a whole 26 RF per Ooh. tick. Awesome. Ooh, it's so amazing. That's so much power. That's really good. You should definitely do that. I'm um, question, Havigal, did you nerf how much steam those reactors produce? <laughs> yep. Say again? Not the rotary craft ones, the, the reactor craft, I did the BR ones, big reactors. I'm yeah, beginning... Did you nerf the speed pro steam production now? Yep. How come there's no jet fuel going into this? I'm beginning to realize that the oh. question is not to ask, Haggle, have you nerfed this? The question is to ask, um, how much have you nerfed this? That is what <laughs> I asked. <laughs> Yeah, it's like you don't even have More to than ask. Two. Okay. You don't even have to ask him. Like, hey, Hagel, by the way, did you nerf this? You just have to say, okay, Hagel, how much did you nerf this? What's going on now? Okay, Nathan, how much did you nerf this? Ten percent <laughs> output. I cry. Okay, so go. This needs to go to the. I cry every day of my life. So, well, let's do north. I do for three minutes. Input side becomes north. Micro turbine goes mm -hmm. the wrong way. All right, man, we're getting this blast glass. Sound good. We're really cooking good. with jet fuel, guys. We're cooking with jet fuel. It's, it's awesome. I wish I could make a. I wish I could make a, a steak. Use it in this pulse jet furnace. You can. After all, if jet fuel can melt steel bars, it can certainly uh, make burgers. Actually, I may just turn <laughs> to ash. <laughs> Instant ash burgers. Excellent. Ash yes. burgers. Okay, so micro turbine burgers. produces two megawatts. Where's my rotary craft book? I think it's on his bookshelf over here. Let's find out how many micro turbines it would take to run the. Uh, I'm gonna make this. Okay, so what we want to get is we want to get a bedrock breaker, and the bedrock breaker requires four megawatts. So we need two. Of them. We need two micro turbines running on basically two 16x gear units. I think I think it's two. At, at that point, you could just make a, a CVT and and have it do. Yeah, it but you can't make a CVT until you get bedrock. Ingots. The CVT uh, unit requires a bedrock shaft. That's what I'm doing. Oh, I need three of these. Eight times three is twenty-four. I made. Mm -hmm. oh, I made just enough blast glass. Mm -hmm. I made mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. enough blast glass. Taller. There we go. Because you guys know what this is. You go. know what we're doing now. I don't know what you're doing. Find out. Yeah? Yes, well. 
Okay. Go find out, Nathan. And it will make a lot of sense. But do I really want to? Yes, Nathan. Do I really want to know? It's what time. I'm doing? Do I want to know what the inner workings of your mind come up with? It's time, Nathan. For this amazingness <sighs> to begin. Oh, really? I have the uranium processor. What the is that? Teddy bear in the hyperdraw crusher. What? You made a teddy bear in a hyperdraw. You put a teddy bear in a hyperdraw crusher? I broke it and a teddy bear came out. The hyperdraw really? crusher had a teddy bear in Somebody it? Somebody put a teddy bear inside the hyperdraw crusher. Yay, rain. <laughs> that seems like animal cruelty. All right. Seems like. I need to put this in here so it'll have a water source. Is it? Is it really? So if I, I can just put it here. Okay, we now have water in the uranium processor. Now we need hydrofluoric acid and uranium hexafluoride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, we're already going into the uranium processor. <laughs> Why? It, because I want to. It's it's not a little early for that. No, it's never too early. Never too early for uranium processing. Wait, don't we have more pitch blend? Just this one block. This video. There we go. You don't. Or you need pitch blend. Because that's how you get uranium. No, you use fluorite. You use pitch blend and, and fluorite, yes. I just use fluorite. No, you can't just use one. No, you have you to use can't. uranium. Schooled. Oh, wait, I'm thinking about the wrong thing. <laughs> it's okay, Shoes. It's okay. Alright, we're uh, extracting pitch blend. Slowly. Should I be excited about this? I'm very excited, Nathan. You should be excited okay. with me. Um. Everyone should be excited with me. I'm super excited. Oh yes. See. I'm uh, not sure. I'm not sure. Whoa! Why this room is getting see. crowded now, Haggle. Yeah, I'm just moving stuff aside while I uh, build the sorting system. We should move all these bread baskets and bowl racks and bottle cases into Nathan's kitchen. We yeah. should, but that would or at least build a pantry for it all. Hmm. There we go. Yellow fluorite crystals into the urea. Now we have some hydrofluoric acid. Storing up hydrofluoric acid. Now I just need the uranium, and we can get uranium hexafluoride. Amazing! Is it though? Yes, it is. And then I need the centrifuge, which needs to be powered, I believe, by a micro turbine. Centrifuge? No, it can be run off. Uh, two six and gear rocks. Actually, centrifuge. No, can not run that off. centrifuge. The uranium centrifuge. Oh, next time say add that. Because that takes mm. more power, more speed. I need. Yeah, micro turbine um, geared blah, 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 with gear Processing isotope centrifuge requires a speed of two hundred and sixty-two one four four. Oh, remember, it requires bedrock now too. Does it? Oh yeah, yeah bedrock I alloy ingots. Well, we gotta get that uh, bedrock uh, breaker then. Ah. Oh, we can't make the bedrock breaker without sintered tungsten, so, right. Throw a splash potion at you. Right, so we definitely need to get some iron ore. To run through the extractor. Um. Because we gotta get tungsten. I may Do we have, have any tungsten? a stack or two tungsten of iron ore. Have we Ten have minutes. we any tungsten plates? I highly doubt it. What are impossible objects? Spheres. Oh. It's Minecraft. They're impossible in Minecraft. Oh, so. Captain okay. Sparkles had a video out about that. His little animation. They found some, and uh, when he said the word sphere, it basically destroyed the world and caused them to. They were falling through a down a uh, starry abyss. Okay. So he said the word sphere, and I guess the entire world died. Okay. No, we have no tungsten. So we need some iron ores. Ooh, drawers. Oh, I have to shift right click on them. Okay. Get it out, yeah. You gotta put upgrades in here? You can. Let's look, uh, let's well, look. how do you store things in these drawers? Um. So you just right click on them and it puts it in there. Oh. Oh! And left click pulls out one, and shift left click pulls out the whole stack. Oh, so they're like barrels. Yeah, except they're multi-slotted. 
and then you can add a uh, you know make them work with refined relocation so they automatically sort so you can just so that, dump that's them what all you're doing then controller. right now yeah awesome it's a low tech me way to be I don't know. way to be <laughs> in the meantime I'm still cooking meth we're cooking meth 24 seven guys I'm still not done with all of these silverwood leaves there's still 16 left they produce so much sludge okay so um, in the interest of getting a bedrock breaker. We need sintered tungsten, which means we need to heat a, a friction heater thing to 1350. But I can't even heat one to 1150, but I should be able to do so using this micro turbine. I'm just going to look around for the first person I find. So the uh, the iron ore is going to be waiting on that. Hello! Pitch blend dust. Why did you, you say that, Nate? The dust out? Because I need some someone to come. I'm scared. Be right scared, so we go. It's not Nathan is, Nathan is up to something. I just need an opinion. Oh yeah, he's totally up to something. I saw a roomie was working on earlier. I just need an opinion. Okay. Why can't someone come and give me an opinion? I will give you because you're my because opinions. you're up to something. I'm not being evil or anything. There's no way this room is a giant death trap. Well, now I'm filled with okay. confidence. Okay, steel banners. steel low limit is fifty-seven thousand radians. So yes, I do need to use a diamond gearbox. Crap, I just made a steel. Steel, 16 to 1 steel gear set. Oh well, it'll so come in handy. Guys, Time's technically up right? for this episode, but I'm I want to wait until this thing heats up. I want to I want to see if this gets hot enough. There you go. So the trick to the shot is the way you set it up. Oh, it's it, already hot enough. It gives them false uh, a false illusion of how to do it because the what you have to do is you have to take the shot of the glass and stick it. Um, you can put it on the, on the, it has to be on the felt, but you can put it on the rail. Quickly, I need to uh, borrow my glasses. You have to sort of, you have to sort of just um, uh, put. The so does anyone see my tower? That's pretty much done out on the outside. Your tower. Blast furnace. Keep my blast I'm furnace. Outside. I am coming. No? I need to make spring steel. I'm on the way. Where does the beer room go? Beer room. Where's the beer room? Been? Wherever it won't go. The beer room Cold can be in part, in part of the kitchen. Steel. Do you know where the kitchen is? Is that just around the corner over here? Yes, it's the L-shaped building. L-shaped room. Uh -huh. There's steel, also a second. Stone. There's also a second floor that you could do something with as well. It's, it's slightly smaller, so you could make that like a brewing room or something. But yes. Is someone yeah, taking me look at my tower? Brewery. I Thank am you. coming out right now. I was sidetracked. Mm -hmm. So which? Yes, I'm making is... spring steel. It should be for the obvious once you get the yeah, Guys, the I'm tower. making spring steel. Uh, yes, my first oh. spring steel ingots. Are you talking about this thing? I'll be able to make yep. a hydrokinetic yeah. engine. This is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You know what this reminds me of? What? Have you ever seen the re the remake of uh, House on Haunted? All right, guys, episode's done. No. But first, let's go see. Uh, uh, zombies, let's zombies, go zombies. see Sheev's tower. You should go on Google and just type uh, images. Type in House on Haunted Hill, and you'll see what I'm. I think it, it mm -hmm. reminds me of the top. Oh, of I see tower. what you're doing. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. It's really cool. Let's I go like back it. to our main room. No, we're gonna go to the new. What's gonna become the new main room? Unless you want to wait till it's absolutely. Yeah, finished. we'll wait till it's finished. All right, I'm just gonna. Let's keep go back to our table of. Friendship, because the air, the area in front of this thing is becoming very, sh very, uh, very cramped. Yeah, yeah, I, I, very yeah. quickly. Yes. But uh, let's let's come on, come on over here. But uh, the dining hall oh, slash yeah, over room. there. That so so we've awesome. each got uh, made quite a bit of progress today, I believe. So mm -hmm. Nathan, yep. have you how, have you made good progress on what you're working on? I have, but don't Great. don't let anyone. Don't, so Shiva, don't go she in was there. building his towery thing, a uh, workshop place. Yeah, it's done. So Lego, what have you been doing today? What'd you do? What'd you get done? I have been wandering in every direction doing very well. Okay, little. that sounds great. Sounds like what I do on a daily basis. Yeah! And Haggle, you've been putting I, drawers I everywhere. I all over. And they look today. different. You're putting what everywhere? Oh, those. All right, so. Okay. I said I had no underwear, so I'm playing with my drawers. Great. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, Nathan's millionaire bears seem to ha be happy about it. It's supposed to be billionaire. Um, billionaire anyway, bear. you guys want to say goodbye? Bye. 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 Remember, remember to let me know in the comments of this uh, video how you like the uh, the new audio. Uh, anyway, 
I'm Sunnylight, and I'm signing out.